Well, it's finally here. After months of meticulous behind the scenes work, my signature guitar has arrived. So let's crack this thing open, find out what it is and the features that I added to make it so special. Here we go. So I can't put it off any longer, you guys. Here it is, the Daryl Braun signature model from Paletti. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, we're gonna check out my brand new, just arrived signature guitar and talk about the features I wanted on this instrument to make it really easy to use, to kind of make it stand out uh, from a sea of guitars and to make it really versatile. So let's jump in and check it out. Now, when the guys from Paletti approached me about doing a signature model, well, I was absolutely blown away and super excited. I love guitar design, so the chance to work with these guys to create something special was not something I could pass up. Now I had two main goals when we were creating this guitar. Number one, it had to be an instrument anybody could pick up, play and enjoy. Nothing too esoteric, no weird neck profiles, scale lengths, quirky features or, or anything like that. You had to be able to grab it, play it and enjoy it. And number two, it had to be very simple to use so you could instantly find you know, the tones you want while at the same time being really versatile. And those two things are kind of hard to <laughs> you know, put together, simple, but versatile. So I think we accomplished that with the special Paletti uh, DBG wiring. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, but anyway, those were the two main goals uh, for the build. Let's jump in and look at the specifics. Now, first things first, if you've never heard of Paletti, well, they're making some of the nicest, most interesting guitars on the planet. They're made in Italy and obviously they're vintage inspired guitars and this one is no exception. So split head tuning machines, uh, some of the nicest bone nuts I've ever seen on any guitar ever just the attention to detail is staggering roasted maple neck roasted maple fingerboard and the body wood is all chestnut from the 1800s on all Paoletti guitars so they source it from Tuscany their old wine caskets um, and they repurpose them and make them uh, into guitar bodies and of course the heavy use of brass instead of plastic um, you know it just all makes a very compelling and very interesting instrument so that's who Paoletti is let's jump in and look at the features I got on my guitar right so now let's talk about the finish the pickups and the Paoletti DBG electronics now in the middle of designing this guitar Paoletti released their heavy finishes which is pretty much two finishes over top of each other and as soon as I saw this I absolutely knew it was the one so this is black over sunburst so the whole guitar sprayed in a beautiful three-tone sunburst then covered in straight black and then all worn together so you get you know the beautiful sunburst the black uh, the natural wood you know everything kind of blending together and kind of looks like the guitar's on fire there it just looks absolutely amazing to me so that's what it is there's a bunch of different heavy finishes you can check it out on their site uh, but this is black over uh, sunburst and absolutely love it all right so now let's talk about the dbg electronics here's where things get pretty interesting as i mentioned i wanted to create a guitar that was very simple to use while at the same time being extremely versatile so here's what we've got two humbuckers and a three-way switch does not get any easier than that you don't have to think about anything just rock your humbuckers and off you go you know you're going to get great tone right out of the box so that's about as simple as it gets now we also have coil splits of course this is an s style guitar we've got to have a good coil split sound which you'll hear in a second and it's got you know to be very easy to use so another 
Paoletti Hallmark is the shotgun shell knobs. Very cool with the brass. Um, but what we did here is we used push push. So instead of push pull, we've just got push push. So if you want to split and go into single coil mode, you, this is your neck split, this is your bridge split, and you've got your three-way switch. So humbucker mode, three-way switch, and here you go, single coil mode, three-way switch. So if you want more traditional strat tones, that's what you rock. If you want sort of thicker, less Paul or super strat kind of tones, you rock the humbuckers. So there you go, three-way switch, humbuckers or single coil, very, very easy. So that's what I like about this guitar. Now, as for, you know, the knobs, this is a separate volume for your neck pickup. This is a separate volume for your bridge pickup, and this is a master tone. Okay, so that's the way these are lined up, and we'll talk about that in a second. So there you go, humbucker mode, you know, single coil mode, very easy. Now, if you want to rock, you know, a split in the neck and a full humbucker in the bridge, you can easily do that. If you want to reverse it, if you want like the full humbucker, tele custom kind of thing, split here, full humbucker, three way switch, easy to do. And the push push just makes everything like so easy and so simple to quickly split and use. You can just be strumming, slap it like that, and you're split. You know, it's just so easy to use. Now, in the middle position is where things get pretty interesting because you can not only split, so you can in the middle position have a humbucker and a split coil at the same time or reverse it and use the tone control, but you can also do blending. So that's the, the beauty of having individual volume pots is you can do blending. So if you want just a, a hair of your neck pickup with your bridge, well, just blend it with the volume. If you want mostly neck and just a hair of bridge, well, blend it with the volumes. If you want one split and blend it with volumes, do it. If you want this one split and then, so, I mean, in the middle position, there is nothing but like insane options for getting interesting tones. And of course you can use the master tone to, you know, affect all of those as well. So that's what I like about this. It's very easy to use. And again, it can be as simple as you want. It can be as complex as you want and hopefully uh, yeah, I'll be able to show you guys in a second. All right, let's plug this baby in and take a listen to it for the very first time. Pickups are hand wound by Paletti to 8.1K and Alnico 5 magnets. So let's see what those sound like. Here we go. All right, you guys, here's the lead tone I used for the solo. Um, we'll start in the neck pickup, lots of delay, lots of verb. <laughs> That's kind of like that intro that I used to the solo. Um, really creamy in that neck pickup. And of course we can take that tone control and you know, make it super full. So that's kind of what I was using. Love the sound of that neck pickup, just that big full. And then when we go to the bridge. So the pickups are matched really well and uh, uh, the advantage of having two volumes is you can kind of take that bridge and just kind of go to about seven o'clock and they will match volumes perfectly uh, and you'll just get the difference in tone. So here's that neck. Bridge. So they're perfectly matched there. And if you do want the volume boost, you can always take it back to 10 o'clock like that. So I love having that. So you can totally balance your guitar. Um, really great. And yeah, of course, then we've also got the coil splits. Um, yeah, sure, I'll do a lead tone. You know, that's more gain than I'd normally use for like a blues tone, but, and then we'll go to the full humbucker. I'll just pop it in. Coil split. And when we take that and coil split it, just with a little, little tap, and play the same thing.
you know, it's a completely different guitar. So full humbucker. Coil split. You know, you get all that snap back. Full humbucker. Split. So that's really what I wanted, you know, when we were talking with Pauletti. Just a, a great sounding humbucker, but with the ability to split so you can get that. You know, that just that really bright. You know, it's got to sound like a Strat. And to me, it's just got all that chime of a Strat. And then when you, you know, put the full humbucker in. You know, it has that ability to give just a big full voice. So, I mean, for me, that's a huge win. You know, just so, it just, it just has that chime and the bite and, you know, the attack in the note. And of course, when we go back to the full humbucker. You know, so for me, that's perfect. Uh, Pauletti just absolutely knocked that out of the park in terms of, you know, almost having two guitars in one, just nailing those split tones, but having like big, full, robust humbuckers. Uh, absolutely love it. All right, now let's try that bridge pickup with a little crunch. Here we go. <laughs> So let's take a quick tour through the basic tones on this guitar, obviously in the middle position with splitting and blending, you know, the sky's the limit, but let's just hit up the main tones. So we'll go through the humbuckers first. Here we go. You know, just a big full sound. You'll notice all of these tones just have a ton of sustain, which is awesome. So let's do the middle. Just a little added brightness and clarity, and then in the bridge. Now let's go through some of the single coil tones. So what I'm going to do is split the neck and split the bridge, and we'll do the same kind of thing. Just kind of go through the three positions. Middle position. bridge.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look of the Pauletti Daryl Braun signature guitar. Super excited to share it with you guys. Obviously comes with a really nice hard shell case. The guys also threw in a Pauletti uh, Italian made cable, Nutric ends and stuff. Looks really high quality and also an Italian leather strap. So, you know, we all know what Italian leathers like little nod to the flag there very very nice stuff so yeah all super high quality um, hope you guys enjoy it if you get a chance to play one uh, you can check out again all the information is down in the video description below for the website all the specs you can check it out there other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this first look take care